other people from the other side as we bring that holiday. Ch -ch 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 yes, that's right. As I wear my holiday sweater for you here. Mm -hmm. And that's right. I got a holiday feeling of nails for you here. And it is snowflakes. Yes, that's right. It might be a more pinkish snowflake, but who says pinkish snowflake isn't good too? So, if you probably know me by now, if you're not new here, then that's right. It's going to be stamped on top. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I know you're here for the video. That's what I would be here for. So why not get into that nail painting of painting and enjoy some holiday cheer right here and right now. So here we go with some of what I'm going to use for the design for you all. Hollow Taco, Sally Hansen, China Glaze, and some Ulta. Yes, Ulta. That place does it. So here I go, putting on the mat, doing something that not too long ago. Simply no, I don't know, maybe it's been a while. I don't remember. But it's recent. It's not that long ago since I've seen at least a live for it. So when she came out with these some, bar some brushes, she showed the technique of doing this. So I thought I would do it. I've done it before, but they just gave me the re umph to do it again. And as you can see, I'm putting the colors throughout in each other. So I'm slightly mixing it so I can get kind of that gem-ish thing where the colors show partially. And here we go, getting them on. And I did just use a base coat, and that is it. I have seen some people do it like this and come out really nice. So this time I didn't do a base color, like a white or something. So I thought I'd just do it this way. And yeah, you can see I wanted to add a little more white to give it a little umph in a different spot because it is supposed to be like a gem and I wanted to show different veins of colors going through because kind of like a, you know, a, a, not turquoise, but like a amethyst, I said. I keep wanting to say M instead, amethyst. And here I am doing it again because that one dried out and I used as much as I could from it. So then I'm going to do another set of it. And even if you were doing this with gel, you still have to make another one after a while because you use up the polish on the mat. But yeah, here I am now doing my point to finger. I don't know about you, but it's satisfying to see these nice shaped up nails get painted. Yes, I know. I'm saying that about my own nails. Sue me. I like to. And this is why I have fun doing them. And who says you can't enjoy your own content somewhat? So there we go. This is why I make them. Make them because I enjoy making these videos and all that awesomeness. So with all that in mind, there we go. And now I thought I'd dab 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 to be fab and put it down like that because then it would kind of help it flatten it out and not be so thick slightly because i don't need it and i don't mind it has the creases and things or whatever else from the thing because that is how this design works well and yep now i got my makeup little brush here for cleanup my makeup cleanup brush this there we go with the sparkle ooh, 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 ooh. and here i am putting it on and it looks pretty nice. Yes, it's pretty crazy sparkle. I don't always do my sparkle this crazed and this showing. Usually it's a little more subdued slightly, but why not? Let's have some fun showing off that sparkle. And then showing off again with this one being more purple. And I use no purple color, but some of the purples, I mean colors mixed together, making purple, not purple mixing, because I didn't use purple. But yeah, now that I'm done, it's time to clean the mat up. So this is what I do. I just take a cotton pad, an acetone and take it up i know what you can do is you can let it dry really really well and then use like a little tool to pop it off and it can come like right off especially if it's kind of thick and you could do it that way but i want to get it clean immediately because i want it to look nice and then get to the next phase of doing my nails so here it is as i am cleaning it all nice and up and very very nice and this is from hollow talk as you can see over there in the corner i'm glad i got this mat it's one of the best mats out there i haven't seen many mats or almost any that are black and that's nice about this one that it's nice in a black mat and then it doesn't show the color smudging on it when you try to clean it with that but there is the background of my nails sparklified to the crazy sparkleness yep and that was the color i used as you saw before and there we go sparkle sparkle with that being my background for my oops let me clean those off i have a few little bits of of the pad on my sticking to my fingers but that looks okay i can get off before i do the stamp but yeah i'm gonna do a stamp because i want to put a nice blackness on it because this is a nice background and then you have something on it that's not sparkly and then it makes it more tuned together so let's do that when i've done these kind of galaxy maybe you can say um 
stonish kind of nails. So we'll see how that goes. These are the colors I'm going to use to do the stamping. So this should work pretty well because these colors are amazing for stamping. And here we go, starting off with the black, the darkness of the winter. Why can't you have a darkness version? Who says you don't have, you have to have it all? Uffy doofy. Some of us are dark inside. Or we are both, like me. I like to have a little bit of the, of the darkness and the other part too. So we are putting on the black snowflakes. And here is this one. This is more of the true actual snowflakes you see outside coming down from the sky. It's actually white. The black ones must be char inside them. Or, I don't know, ash? <laughs> but that's beside the point. And there we go. But, sorry to say, this did not work well at all. The only problem I had was it didn't dry right. I don't think I waited long enough. I think I was way too much in a rush. So this is me taking it all off. And yes, I am taking it off. And I'm going in frantic to take it off. And I'm going to do my second attempt in just a few minutes. It didn't take too, too long to get off because it's nice, strong acetone, but I am very kind of bummed out because it would have worked if I waited. And then there's too much going on for me after I looked at it a little bit. So there we go. Just got to clean the pinky a tiny bit more there. But dear Lord, me, oh my, did it go crazy. And I'm sorry, but I'm just going to have to redo it in a different way. Of course, I do need to put a base coat on again because taking all that acetone does always take all of it off. So to keep my nails protected and I'm getting making sure I get the little snagglies that got stuck to my nail because that's the thing about these, that little pad that I use, it leaves behind some of the fuzz. So there we go. And then this is what I'm going to use in the background. I'm using the hollow taco white that I had earlier in the video there, but now I'm using it for the background and then I'll put the color on top in some way and all that awesomeness, and I'm just getting the sides. Sometimes you don't always want to do this, going to the sides a little bit thing on top, but because the way I know how it works, and it doesn't dry too, too fast, I can usually do that. So what I'm gonna do is you see, I'm doing it on my little spongy little thing that you push down for doing nail plates, and I'm gonna do that this way, and that's what I'm doing right now. And because of this, it's doing it a little different. It's not really gem looking. It's more of a pink color because I mostly just used the white and red because I didn't feel like I wanted that dark color like I thought I wanted. And now I'm getting into the stamping. I am going to go to the black though, like I did earlier. Have that black feeling with that. Here we go. Putting on the black in one of my middle fingers here. This one is my ring finger, as we call it. And as you can see, I did do the white as well. This is just me doing that. And as my nail's kind of long, I do have to do it a second time on the tip. And there we go. Niceness. Now I'm putting on a little bit of sparkle on this nail. Because I thought I'd do it on every other one instead of all of them. So this is before I do the stamping on this as well. Unless I feel like leaving it like this. But yeah, here we go. And I am getting the white stamping now on this and I'm doing my other two nails. I'm doing black and white, black and white. So here we go, putting on the white one on these and I thought that was kind of nice. This and everything, so there's that. And now I'm just putting on the nice top coat to hold it all in because now this one actually did what it was supposed to. Do that, here are my nails and I did put a black line around it because that felt like it just finished it all off for me. So there we go in all its glory. Well, there we go with that video. It had its ups and its downs. But at least at the end, we finally got to the end product of it. Yes, we're not all perfect. <clears throat> I know. I'm, I'm talking about myself. Yes. And we all do it. None of us are perfect. Even at things that we have done plenty of times and think we know how to do them. So on this holiday time of time, as we all have our fun going out, do whatever we're going to do for this time of year. I don't know about you, but I definitely feel the holiday spirit, especially in these nails here and awesomeness. And there will definitely be some more nail arts that come in your way that are holiday feeling because I love doing holiday nails. Yes, I do. And yes, I'm going to be like this because I can. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop being crazed. <laughs> Just had to let the monster come out. Ooh, maybe it's my holiday monster. I don't know. <laughs> Who says you can't have a holiday monster? I guess me. So here we go. This time of year is when my holiday monster comes out. <laughs> okay, I will stop doing that. <laughs> Ooh.
or just me being crazy and whatever else. So on that note, please give this video a nice big juicy, juicy thumbs up or more likely sparkly thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. Who doesn't like my sparkle? This girl. And if you're new, please click that subscribe button and get to know more of my videos because I post about every week. And so you can know when I post and when if you hit that bell icon after subscribing, then you will now know when I post a video and you get to go, ooh, new video. Let's get on there and play. And however you like to look at your YouTubes of YouTubes. So on that note and all the holiday cheer and craze I have with this brain of mine, I thank you for coming. Until next time, Sparkle Sparkle, bye.